Good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. It's me again, Jen. Hello! And it is Tuesday. It is March the 16th. And we are more than halfway through the month of March, which means we are more than halfway done with our Housewives Tarot Cards, which is an adorable tarot deck created by Paul Kepler and Jude Buffin. Did I say that right? Buffum. Buffum. And these were recommended to me by my dear friend and podcast co-host on Casing the Cover, my dear friend Mary, and she pointed these out to me, and I am not regretting this purchase. They are wonderful cards. They're a lot of fun, and I think they're perfect for, you know, Women's History Month. Why not? Let's do Housewives. So the kitschy style of them has amused us for more than half the month. Let's see what card we have for this Tuesday. <laughs> All right, we have the Five of Wands, and in this case, wands are typically represented by the housewife tools of the trade, shall we say. They are represented by feather dusters, mops, I think there was a broom, uh, just the different things that you use to tidy up the house and magically make it more beautiful with your creative ideas and inspiration. That was me trying to weave the um, idea of wands into how that computes to cleaning tools. But I do get it. It's kind of fun to have uh, feather dusters. In fact, I love that she's got like the three different colored feather dusters here on her belt. Plus, she's kind of attacking the other um, appliances with those two feather dusters. I... Usually wands represents kind of struggle and competition and those kinds of things. So yes, housework is never done. It is an endless struggle. I totally embrace this big time. We all know what it is like to come home to a sink full of dishes or, you know, floors that have to be mopped, etc. Myself having multiple cats in the house means, you know, fur and fur tumbleweeds happen all the time. So Yes, I dig this because her expression is absolutely extraordinary in this. And I like that it you can see the the struggle, so to speak, on her face, the the fear, the overwhelm of things. So I like that. I do think that if you have never read the tarot cards before and you saw this one, you would feel like, hey, attack struggle, competition, all of those things are rather well represented, I think, in this card. Also, just kind of being being overwhelmed because she is surrounded by all of these appliances and which ones work and which ones don't and this and that kind of thing. So that's kind of fun. I love that the uh, items represented, the iron and the mixer, or sorry, the blender and the toaster oven, are all of the era of our mid-century modern style. And the feather dusters are so bright and colorful. I dig that. Also, what's really cool about this that I've noticed is that the color scheme on most of them kind of also ties into the element that they represent. Not so actually with the wands, because wands usually yellow represents um air and wands are fire. So I think I would have preferred this to be red border on the outside of it and written in red writing. I don't know that I've seen red. Who's using red? Maybe it's swords. I think swords might be red in this deck, which is a little confusing because swords are air, yellow is air, wands are fire, and red is fire. So that would be the one thing that I that is a drawback to these cards that I'm not super keen on is that they kind of mess those two up, which I guess in some traditions you, you could have it that way, but mm, people who are really into the tarot and things like that know that wands represent fire and yellow does not represent fire. I mean, it's, and it's definitely yellow. It's a very mustardy yellow. You can't say, oh, well, maybe it's kind of an orangey color like fire. Mm, no, not feeling that. So I, that's the one drawback from this card. Wands usually represent fire, energy, creativity, passion, inspiration, all of those kinds of things. 
and also our struggle with those things and balance the work and home life, so to speak. So I do dig this card. I will say, though, that I'm not cool with them switching the color scheme uh, between the swords and the wands, but I, I do enjoy it, and hopefully we will see more exciting wand cards with the mops and the brooms and things like that as we look at the rest of the cards. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!